Yo, this is uh, Chuck, and I uh, just want to give a little shout out to my crazy girl, Black Indigo, and all that, but I got to talk some serious stuff to all y'all people here. Now, what everybody doesn't understand is, is that there's a way for this Tesla Tower thing. It has to get start. Either you're going to put some energy into it and try to get it up to par, but if you want it to run all the time by itself, then it's going to have to be self-powering. And what is the, what is powering it? It's two components. It's the DC voltage of the Earth, with your antenna up there, or your plates, like I showed you. But also, you have that run a tuned circuit, you know, just like any coil, a radio frequency coil, right? But, you have it either be at the fundamental or one of the harmonics of the Earth's resonant frequency. And then, this, what it is, is, is well, okay, say I plug, make a crystal set, right? I got a wire sitting on the table. And then I don't even have the other wire plugged in, I just lay a wire on the floor. So there's, just, there's no wire there. And I sit there and still listen to the radio. Now, what does that mean? That means that space itself can be a wire. So, what I'm trying to tell you is, is that space can be an AC wire, of course. But space can also be a DC wire. Especially space with uh, any kind of atmosphere. When we go to the ionosphere, I mean, how many gigavolts or gigawatts is it? Okay, so now all we have to do is, just like with a crystal set, but in the DC format, we, from the ionosphere to the ground, is like a big long resistor. So if I put up this plate up a certain amount of height, that means it's going to be a voltage, just like any resistor I'm going to tap into, it's a variable resistor with my plate. And that means that I can, the higher I move up, the more I move toward the uh, absolute uh, voltage source, which is the differential between the ground and the sky. Now, I want y'all to think on this for a second, and then I'm going to get back to you in the next video, but I'm about to upload it right now. But for real, you got to understand there's a DC component. Now, what if we take that DC static component and convert it down into an AC component and we run an LC circuit, right? And when uh, 1 over 2 pi times the square root of LC equal, you know what I'm saying? 1 over 2 pi times the square root of LC means that now I put a resonant frequency around there, which is the primary, and it's either in the secondary of the Tesla coil. Now all of a sudden, from a little bit of atmosphere, we have a, a light running, a fluorescent light. 24 hours a day. Alright, y'all. I'm going to get back with y'all, but I just wanted to share some of these thoughts. You know what I'm saying with you? I love y'all. Everybody do your experiments, please. I'm doing mine for y'all. Peace.